Today we're going to talk of chemistry and chemistry being a very important topic and it's got equations and diagrams and theory and concepts, numericals and a lot of variation, a variety of things. I'm going to talk from the 11th standard point of view, a 12th standard point of view. You know uh, in the different ways in which chemistry is divided and how important it is. I'm going to discuss about some chapters which are very important in chemistry. My name is Anil Thomas and in this video um, I'm going to take you through this. So stay tuned. So well, in chemistry we divide the entire chemistry into how many parts? Tell me. That's right, four parts. First is organic chemistry. Second, inorganic chemistry. Third, physical chemistry. And the fourth, general chemistry. So when you look at the 11th standard syllabus, you should know each chapter belongs to which subheading. And uh, when you look at the 12th also, you should know that which chapter belongs to which group mein belong karta hai. general, physical, organic, inorganic. So now you have to easy to study it because you know that from this topic, there are so many marks. Aate hai. Therefore, this chapter is important. Hai. This is where you map things. This is exactly where you do things in a way that it's mapped well. right? So I'm going to share with you. So if you look at this paper where I'm writing, you will be able to understand the, the overall breakup. So, you, did you notice what I have done? I have broken down the 11 standard topics, this is the 11 standard, into general chemistry, physical chemistry, organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. So, 11 standard mein jo aapke chapters hai, this is from this topic, this is from this topic, this is from this topic and this is from this topic. Now, as an assignment right now, what I am telling you to do is, I want you to break down the entire 12th standard in the same way. So what will happen when you break down the 12th in the same way? You get to know what are you studying from which topic. Cool. If you have a doubt, you can write in the comment section. I will help you sort this better. I want to share with you that in some basic concept, there's some basic concept which you have, um, the mole is very important over here. Okay, everything related to mole, uh, this becomes the backbone of chemistry, right? Uh, when you look at atomic structure, the entire chapter is important, especially the photoelectric effect, the Bohr's model and the quantum number. Uh, these three are very important topics when you look at the atomic structure. The uh, chapter is later on broken down into electrochemistry and the application of redox. Uh, that's, that's what makes it very important. Um, so then you go down to a topic called as periodic, uh, the, the chapter over here, all the periodic uh, components over here. Now here this becomes the basis of chemical bonding as well as um, the whole understanding of chemical bonding um, in organic chemistry. And here ionization enthalpy, uh, you get the electron gain enthalpy, you understand the electro positive character as well as the electro uh, negativity uh, and the whole concept which comes from here, right? Now, chemical bonding, when I talk of chemical bonding, I'm talking about the hybridization, the VSEPR, the VSEPR theory, and the MOT, the molecular orbit theory. So this is what makes chemical bond very important, right? So, so what I'm trying to tell you over here is, in 11th standard, under general chemistry, these are the main chapters, topics, and these are certain areas which you cannot miss, should not miss, because examination questions are completely based on these topics. Um, I hope I'm clear over here, right, children? Uh, if you think there is anything unclear, you should write in the comment section and I will personally reply to each of them. Overall view of the whole of the 11th standard uh, chemistry, right? So uh, coming to physical chemistry, you will know that uh, these are independent chapters and they are not interlinked with anything. Otherwise, most of the chemistry topics are uh, linked and they, they go from one point to the other and this is connected to that and everything. Now under states of matter, if you go to see, the liquid state and the solid state is important. I would say solid state is more important. In thermodynamics, you will take the section of thermochemistry, which is very important. Um, in equilibrium, I would say ionic equilibria is very important and under ionic equilibria, the pH and the salt hydrolysis, the buffer and the solubility product, all of this is uh, fatty important. Uh, 
so so you see physical chemistry what you need over here is concepts and numericals over here a little bit of equational knowledge is important now come to organic chemistry well this is the backbone these two when you know the 11th standard these two topics properly and very well when you know them you, you are very sure that 12th standard mein aapka entry ho chuka hai and and you're in a comfortable position after that well alkene alkyne derivatives of benzene are important because that's tricky and in general chem general organic chemistry you should know isomerism you should know optical isomerism you should also know geometric so basically all the isomerisms all the mechanisms all the uh, the aspects involved over there and when you come to inorganic chemistry um, you are having hydrogen s block p block uh, and the environmental chemistry now what is very important is your p block fatte important p block right um, it's important because you you'll have to have boron you should know boron you should know nitrogen and the second period boron ke upar kafi sawal aata hai um, and lot of questions related to boron comes in this particular topic right so this gives you an overall chart from 11th standard point of view so now samjho aapke paas aaj 10 din hai baki exams ke liye for the jee examination or the final examination and you have to revise your 11th standard so you have a chart like this in front of you and you know from the 11th standard point of view kya padhna hai inhi topics ke upar brush karna hai because these topics um, comprises of those questions which comes in the examination so you understand uh, pura 11th padhne ka zarurat nahi hai exam ke 10 din pehle when you know this and how do i know this it's simple right even you can know this nothing like a rocket science that i know and you can't know um, keep the last four years papers in front of you and analyze um, this question has come from where so you will know that this question is from 11th standard or 12th standard this question is from this chapter and in this chapter this question is from this topic when you can do this for four or five papers you will understand that you can form a whole network a whole system to understand how they ask you the question and once you know that you know you you're pro at it um so let's also look at 12th standard so you see i've given you an assignment you will break down all the chapters of 12th standard in the same group and every time you look onto a question paper you can categorize this in a particular fashion what in chapter don't miss anything on this in this topic of solution the colligative property is super duper important that's something which you don't want to miss in the topic electrochemistry uh, this is important all right and what is precisely important everything which talks of cells electrode potential uh, the comparison between the oxidation numbers and the reduction numbers or the oxidizing and the reduction properties all of this is important when it comes to electrochemistry in chemical kinetics again another important chapter um the order and molecularity is important uh, you know uh, all the topics related to kc versus delta g is important and uh, the numerical on the nernst theory is important nernst equation is important you 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 better be knowing in chemical kinetic uh, this particular topic in surface chemistry you have to know adsorption the colloidal state and of course the gold number protection yeah, these are three topics very important in coordination chemistry you better be knowing the cft you better be knowing the vbt the valence bond theory the nomenclature and the isomerism yeah and uh, in metallurgy in metallurgy uh, you should be knowing Ellingham's graph. You should be knowing the Ellingham's graphs, and there can be a lot of filler questions which can come from here. So, what is a filler question? A filler question is something uh, where uh, it's easy to score marks, right? Then again, in P block, uh, like I said, uh, the oxy acids of P, phosphorus and sulfur. The oxy acids are very important over here, and then the D and the F block, uh, the lanthanide contraction and the screening effect can come. So, this is what is important from this particular topic.
So in paper two chemistry, we have aldehydes and ketones, uh, very important, you know, the standard questions like aldol, cannies, arrows, all that is important. And alcohols and phenols, all the halogen based questions. Uh, in amines, I would recommend that you go through the basicity, which they ask you. Um, this is important. And biomolecules is also partly important. Polymers is very important. Polymers may say, bahut, bahut, bahut sawal aate hain. In chemistry, in everyday life, they ask you one question. So don't miss it. Um, that one, it's an easy chapter to focus on even practical chemistry focus on on this also pretty well so this is paper 2 of 12th standard so well this really works Pratik uh, Sengar says after two hours I have chemistry CBSE board examination and now I am feeling very relaxed and confident thanks for this great video you are welcome Pratik and uh, comments like this are so important it motivates us to uh, do more honest contents for you so children all over who are listening to this channel right now, we are grateful like I keep always saying and Pratik gets the gift. So Pratik, punch in your address on the email ID and we send you your gift uh, to your address uh, wherever you are on the globe. And uh, children, do subscribe to the channel, share this uh, because unless you share it, we don't uh, successfully reach out to more students across. Um, all the best. Do well we will be coming out with a series of uh, physics chem uh, chemistry we just gave we'll be coming out with physics maths and biology and um, good luck for the neat children remember we will be coming out with a live video session with more teachers on the panel where you can ask your questions live and we would like to reach out to you soon so keep watching our next video uh, which will have more information about your examination. So up until the next time we meet, bye, good luck, do well.